So I'm Shirka Saka from IBM Research Tokyo. Actually, you know, San Francisco is very close, just next to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so let me start from this old cartoon. I hope most of you know what I want to talk about. So, ah, OK, sorry. Today's um, uh, title of the presentation is Creating Geo Voice Tags for and by the Blind. And I want to start from this old cartoon. So actually, um, I was a fan of this cartoon when I was a child and could watch it. The little bird on his shoulder is a robot. And it helps the boy um, by whispering to him about everything around him, from weather to approaching enemies. The bird had a telepathic link for the boy's mother, who had gone to heaven. <laughs> OK, it's a cartoon. But I have often thought about this little robot since I became a blind researcher. Now you know one of my dreams. If a small device on my shoulder could recognize everything around me, from street signs, parked bicycles, people in the meeting room, what's going on in the video, or uh, warn me if the shoes in the store crash with my purse. Um, so, in the 90s, it was still too early to include such a slide in my presentation. Now, as you see in this workshop, we are rapidly approaching this dream. One of the key factors is the combination of automatic recognition engines and human intelligence. It is clear that computers have not yet accurate, uh, accurate enough comparable to human cognition in many areas, such as um, optical character recognition, image recognition, and voice recognition. The approach of crowdsourcing allowed us to create dream services by supplementing the limitations of recognition accuracy. We call this approach crowdsourcing for accessibility or just crowd accessibility. Of course, there are many um, difficulties, both social and technical, in using the power of crowdsourcing, but I believe it's worthwhile. Uh, so toward this vision, we developed a prototype, a prototype to show the uh, possibilities. This is a smartphone application uh, for the visual disabilities, so uh, they can explore a city with the detailed route information, uh, social media information, and also some uh, recognition technologies. Please take a look at the video. Pick a destination, Lalaport. Submit route request. Request sent. Currently, our volunteer is creating the detailed information. At home. Response received. Announce instruction. Proceed towards the left for approximately 280 meters. The crosswalk is signaled and is 40 meters long, with a median halfway. Four restaurants nearby. More info. One of four, Yamamoto, Yuzakaya, rated 3.16. Comments from eight reviewers, 72% are. Two of four, Katoya Wine, Bistro and Wine Bar, rated 3.47. Comments from 16 reviewers, 87% are. Currently open. Closes at 2. Review comments. The tapenade sauce with the albacore was delicious. I was impressed by the alligator jelly. The store is a bit hard to find. Save to favorites. Save. Response received. Green tea is second from the right. Top row. You have arrived at the destination. The building. 
entrance should be ahead and towards the right. So, uh, for this prototype system, we combined human intelligence and machine intelligence. The detailed route information and the photo description of the green tea were both provided by people via the crowdsourcing. Currently, the restaurant review summary uh, is just automatic text analysis, which is us. We use the sem uh, sentiment analysis. The other parts could be handled by computers if we can augment them with human knowledge. In such ways, new technologies have great potential to improve the quality of life people with disabilities in ways we've never thought of before. There is a missing link here. The users are only passive recipients. If we can systematically capture data from end users, we can go beyond quantitative advantages, and the services can be enriched by um, end users' perspective. Is it possible for blind users to join the work to create the Chica bird? Here is uh, one of the approaches uh, photo by the blind. Some of you may be wondering why a blind person would want to take or share the photographs. It turns out uh, that many of them are interested for more or less with, uh, uh, as a cited, uh, 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 the same reasons as sighted persons. They want to uh, capture a moment of experience to share with the people they care about, uh, which includes sighted people. Unfortunately, today's technologies and tools have various accessibility issues that makes it difficult for people with uh, visual impairments to capture and share their, their own photo easily and independently. As a step towards realizing uh, this vision, we have created a mobile phone application called the Accessible Photo Album that is designed to be accessible for people with visual impairments. The uh, app offers an accessible way for the user to capture a photograph and to, um, and to associate an audio memo recording with each photo. The user can um, record an audio description about the picture and um, they can also capture the ambient sound to help recall and convey the memory to an ambience. So the app's album view enables the user to browse through the photos while hearing the recorded sound, so that the blind user can independently uh, tell which photo is which and share it with their sighted friends. Let me show you about uh, the demo of how the app works. Actually, I took some photos uh, since I got here yesterday. ボイスオーバーを検索フィールド、編集中、アイフォーム、アイチューンズ、アップ、ポッドキャスト、17個の新アクセサブルアタス。Sorry, it's Japanese. 一度タップして、ジェスターを有効にしてください。ジェスター有
So uh, now I hope you get the idea. Okay, so uh, here is an example of an audio uh, photograph taken by one of our participants using our app during our user study. One of his hobbies is to go to liquor store to find uh, bottles with interesting shapes. Here, after feeling the uh, shape of this um, porcelain um, bottle shaped like a Concorde jet, uh, he took this photo and recorded description. He was very happy, uh, sorry it's a Japanese, but he recorded. Anyway, maybe <laughs> you could tell how happy he was. But anyway, so <clears throat> the sequence of APA audio allows the users uh, to re-experience not only just their photos, but also to enjoy other person's travel, such as their impressions of liquor stores or of the wind at bayside restaurants. If we provide a service to organize these audio recordings as collection with geolocation data, then uh, we can create a social, um, we can create social audio overlay for our city environment by using the power of the blind or visual impairment. Let me call this approach voice, uh, geo, geo voice tagging. Geo voice tagging has been explored in various projects, but it has not yet received much attention in comparison with two other uh, tags, such as text tags and photo tags. One of the key challenges is the user experience created by using geo voice tags. There are two situations. First, please imagine a blind person is walking along with a sighted friend. If the blind person can be aware of the surrounding information in depth, such as a list of restaurants on the left and their reputations, then he can talk with his sighted friend in a natural and easy way. Second, uh, it's still challenging, but blind person could navigate in the city alone by using tags. However, uh, too many tags are overwhelming. Tags need intelligent control. So uh, I, I want to show you some of the examples. It's a still simulated ones. Zero feet. User recording. Well, uh, make sure that Astro plays if you want to go uptown, that you don't enter from the Starbucks uh, side of entry, because um, you have that's only for downtown. One feet. Aster PL. 42 feet. Kmart Pharmacy. It's way better than Kmart's 34th Street Pharmacy, but still not the best spot. 140 feet. Barche. 158 feet. Front 163 feet. The big. On history. Uh, right now, it's mostly a crowded place with a lot of young people, but still, uh, you can find some characteristic of the old times. Front right diagonal 60 feet. Trash and vaudeville. One of the few rim. Fall. Left 38 feet. St. Mark's Comics. This is a great place to go if you want terrible customer service. Front left diagonal 53 feet. Front left. 
So I, I, I hope now you can get some idea. So we are trying to you know extract information, not just you know user voice, um, user based, geo based tag, but also uh, information from the internet. So how can we generate non intrusive audio augmentation, especially for visual impairments? So when I talk about this topic, people often ask me if we can use this same technology for senior citizens since audio augmentation can be an intuitive medium for senior citizens to obtain and to enjoy uh, surrounding information. Such expand use will accelerate the activities for geo voice tagging. We believe this community has great opportunities to lead activities to solve such challenges and to enable social location-based um, enrichment of our environment for the blind and by the blind. Thank you very much.